As the world enters a fourth industrial revolution, technology is moving beyond mere automation to intelligent automation based on computer systems that think, move, and operate faster and more efficiently than humans. The pace of change is exponential. Consumers, producers, and governments are working hard to keep the pace, while recognizing the massive benefits this brings. The development of new technologies brings novel capabilities, and with them moral questions not deliberated before. To what end should human enhancement technologies be deployed? How will gene drives progress if we proceed at the rate we are today? Even when norms are set, how will the field be monitored to ensure adherence? In addition, new technologies are leading to a world where human labor is being rendered redundant, with an expected 7.1 million jobs to be lost to cyber automation by 2020. Notably, many safe professions requiring considerable training, such as radiographers, accountants, judges, and pilots, appear to be at risk. Other jobs, particularly those that are highly creative, unpredictable, or involve dealing with children, people who are ill, or people with special needs, appear less at risk. While the ethical issues to be addressed are numerous, several benefits come forth across various government entities. The introduction of robots and AI in the marketplace, for example, will enable a level of automation, personalization, and prediction never before possible. The transport sector will drastically change with driverless vehicles that can perform deliveries and public transport systems safely, quickly, and without the possibility of human error. Predictive policing, taking in both historical data as well as automated surveillance systems, such as facial recognition, will help prevent crime by helping direct police forces to areas where crime is likely to happen before it occurs. In education, AI can mark exams at an unprecedented rate, as well as observing the areas of weakness in a student's education and providing adaptive learning programs to compensate for the weakness. AI can also take in various factors, such as age, gender, and diet, comparing them against input symptoms, blood tests, and genomic data for comparison across a wide database to personalize patient diagnosis and treatment plans. Healthcare in particular is set to be influenced by a variety of advances which improve personalized medicine. Genomic medicine can move even deeper than prediction, and superficial treatment through gene editing, which in itself can be a cure for acquired or hereditary diseases, or can prepare organs in other animals for human transplantation, with minimal chance of rejection. The rise of a new technologically aided eugenics movement, where only desirable children are raised to term through genetic manipulation, might be one major danger of gene editing. The government can mitigate such instances through the support of genomic data provision and analysis, an honest approach to data privacy, education of professionals and the wider public, as well as the support of international cooperation through debates on various ethical challenges. The rise of genomic medicine will also lead to advances in the field of biometrics. Quick access to DNA data will partner with programs capable of scanning for other physiological variations, such as vein, iris, fingerprint, and palm patterns. Additionally, behavioral biometrics, such as signatures, keystrokes, and voice patterns, are becoming more easily and accurately predicted. There are many benefits to such technologies. Digital services can be secured. Ghost workers and illegal labor can be controlled elections can be more accurately monitored, and borders can be more strongly protected. While this much data will be an advantage to any security program, the risk of deviation in the use of biometric data from its original intention requires governments to ensure public trusts to gather such data. Such scientific and technological advances require government support, involvement, and mediation. New legislation and policies will be needed to minimize the loss of human employment and mitigate the abuse of genetic editing technology. New law enforcement targets must be put in place in light of available predictive technologies, while new controls for prejudice must be considered, especially in the early stages where AI rely on historical data captured by humans. In support of such technological developments, many bottlenecks during the implementation phase may have to be removed, with skills and information needing to be disseminated. Progress may be inevitable, yet our response to such progress is still within our control.